Behave, it's me, Baron Bedsores. Now then, so Baron, so at the start of the week, what we're going to do, an upload for the arse racing, because the cards are pretty daft, to be honest with you, but that's to be expected. Cheltenham's on next week, so all the best horses are going to Cheltenham. But I've had a few shilling on this horse each way, nothing spectacular, small stakes. So I thought I might do an upload, bang it out there and see what you think. So the selection runs in the 310, sand down the Imperial Cup, and it's going to be Solstice Star. Every time I see Salsi's star, it's progressing nicely and it's what I like to see in an arse. I don't like to see it in one huge leap. I like to see it do it gradually and see how it does its work. So it's had a £7 rise for its last win over Chelsea. I still think there's more to come from this arse. And if the race goes seriously close to winning this race, the first two in the bane, for good measure, and the French name thing, what I ain't going to attempt to pronounce, I think they're a bit too short. For good measure, consider a bit of a flat trap bully. In my opinion, if it finds something what's a bit game and wants a bit of a battle, it seems to down tools. Obviously, the favourite's a bit more like it, but what I can see happening is them swinging for home and, and Solstice Star and the favourite fighting it out. And if there's a bit more to come from Solstice Star, it, it should go close to winning it, at least getting us a place for the 8 to 1. So that's going to be the selection. Solstice Star, 8 to 1 each way. Small stakes, because Cheltenham's on, remember, folks. I'm going to do a footy upload, so watch out for that. Good luck with all your picks this weekend, and hopefully, everyone's got some pin money ready for Cheltenham. I'll leave it for now. Cheers for listening, to the Baron.